and it's flashing, and that means that it's means recording? it's recording. It's recording. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing in the car. Well, we're getting ready to go on our trip, huh? Yep, getting ready to go on your surprise belated birthday event. Yeah, I have no idea where we're going, but I'm kind of excited to get there, and. I'm going to take you along with me. All right, so let's go. So now we're in Indianapolis, going around the south side of Indianapolis on this lovely road called 465 that I love so much. So much we love it. Next stop will be where we're stopping to have our little picnic lunch. Okay, so we're down around Martinsville, southern Indiana, and we've run into what's become one of Indiana's favorite pastimes, which is construction. Orange barrels, cones, I don't know, sticks? I don't know what you call those things in the middle, but they're everywhere. Sticks. Miscellaneous cranes. Yeah. Slow moving traffic. Doing stuff, lifting things. <laughs> we don't know what they're doing it for. Hopefully this doesn't delay our, our travels too much. So we finally made it to our picnic spot. First park we tried to go to apparently no longer exists, even though the internet says it does. Yeah, it was just a bunch of houses. So Mark's eating his picnic food. Yeah, I am. Mmm. Still doesn't know what we're doing. On gluten-free bread. No, I don't. I have a clue where, as to where we're going. <laughs> I've been running down all the places and things in my head of like, what is, what, can we do this? Can it be that? Can it be that? I tried to tell him it was an antique mall. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, because that made me all sorts of thrilled. <laughs> and I thought maybe we're going, we're going up in air balloons, hot air balloons. But no. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing that. So, I still don't know. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. It'll still be a surprise. I know. The not knowing's kind of killing me. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. I'm just driving. Trusting in her phone's GPS because the big GPS stopped working. They couldn't give us a thing to, to a place called Paoli. Whatever the hell that is. It sounds like peyote. <laughs> I bet it sounds like a place where everybody's into drugs. Like you just go across, go go into the town limits. It's like, here, man, try some of this. It's good. <laughs> or some, it'll blow your mind, man. Keep that's hands what, on the steering wheel. That's what I'm kind of expecting. But yeah, we're going. Okay, we're on the final stretch. Hopefully, the phone will take us there. Yeah, hopefully it'll take us there. Because <laughs> I have no idea where the living crap I am. You're mm. in Paoli, Indiana. Yeah. It says we're eight minutes away. Really? Yeah. Okay. Turn left mm. onto West Hospital <laughs> Road. You taking me to the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you were there. Gonna have you admitted. Oh Jesus! We finally got. <laughs> you finally got hip to me being crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Midwest Inn. We're not staying there, are we? No, that's that scary place that actually had a room open. Really? Who yeah. <laughs> yeah. This place I had do. bed bugs and stuff. Oh no, Christ, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. I'm I'm a, I'm a little more particular than that. You're a lot more particular. Than that. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, honey. That's why we're staying at the Hampton. <laughs> Five minutes. Jesus Christ, man! What is this thing? <laughs> The anticipation's killing me. <laughs> Not going to that prison, are we? I don't know anything about a prison. No? Okay. There's a prison down here someplace. Okay. Chad and Stephanie. Mm. Good old Chad and Stephanie. No, no, congratulations to Chad and Stephanie, whoever you are. And whatever you're doing. <laughs> whatever you've done to earn. They had a sign in the room. I was like, okay, sure. Maybe they graduated from IU. Because that seems to be what the activity going on this weekend that keeps us from getting any nearby hotel rooms. I think it's IU's graduation. Oh. Giving a shout out to my subscribers. First I picked up some. I love you. Love all of you. <laughs> Wilston lounging pool, zip lines, trail rides. 18, what? Down this hill? Yep. Continue for a half mile. What are we doing? 
I'm too fat to go on a zip line. <laughs> this covered bridge, this is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Covered bridge. Oh. Going in a covered bridge. Okay, well that's alright. It's not as scary as some of the covered bridges I've been over. Wait a second. Have I been down here before? I don't think so. <laughs> I do not know. It's down here somewhere. Okay, well we we're traveling. Mm. <sighs> it's pretty back here. It is pretty. Look at all that. Lots of green. Man, hope another car doesn't come towards us. No, that would be bad. Yeah, it would. What would we do? How do you get out of here? I don't know. This is like the only road. <laughs> Holy crap. We're going to the office. And we'll see. See what the boss says? Can you read it? Elephant encounter. Oh my god! Elephant encounter, we're gonna what? What? Are we going to encounter some elephants? We are going oh to God. encounter some elephants. We are? We are. Oh, oh shit. Really? Really. Oh crap. Okay. So, we got our tickets to the elephant experience and spa. <laughs> I'm going to wash an elephant and get to touch it and all that kind of stuff. Like they did on Amazing Race. <laughs> um... I'm excited. I'm so excited about it. And I um, can't hardly wait. <laughs> She's only got one tusk. <laughs> this is what the three elephants look like when they come in. They're just absolutely dirty from rolling around in the mud. <laughs> this one's blue. Blue or blue? Blue. Blue, blue. The youngest of the three, yeah. yeah. Last one to get her spa oh, treatment. Yep. Mark is going to go rinse the elephant off. This elephant's making a weird noise. I don't know if you can catch it on the camera or not. You like your birthday present? Oh yeah, I love it. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so did we miss anybody's food picture? Did we miss anybody? Before we put them outside, make sure you got your pictures. Everybody good? <laughs> that elephant's looking into my soul. <laughs> I swear. This poor elephant. 
All right, so the adventure is over and we made it. <laughs> we made it through it. No elephant stampede. They were all just, just fine. <laughs> Got to pet them and touch them and that was awesome. Oh my God, that was so great. And the elephant skin, it feels rough and almost velvety at the same time because of all the little hairs that are on it. And I got to touch the trunk and the ivory. And I touched the back side of the trunk and I felt, and that turned out to be a little bit softer. It was weird, it was a little, almost spongy. Um, but it was a, an amazing experience and I'm so glad Heather did this for me and I just love her for it. But what happens after? <laughs> so, after. We, we leave, we went to another little place where they have um, goats and a donkey and stuff like that. So I said, what the hell, I'm here, I might as well pet, pet him. I might as well pet the donkey. Donkey! <laughs> and I said, and I talked like that to it too. Donkey, I'm going to pet you. <laughs> he didn't answer. And he couldn't bottle feed, he couldn't feed him. He had little things for you to feed him. But I couldn't feed the little baby, the baby baby goats or this baby donkey because they were... Uh, under a strict bottle fed diet and I was like dang um but yeah it was still cool I still had a had a good time with that had some of these big goats like the kind from the witch <laughs> none of them offered me butter we leave and go get some excellent barbecue at Smokin' Jim's Barbecue in Bedford Indiana it was so good oh my god it was so the Heather had a brisket and it melted in her mouth, she said, and it was just delicious. Had these loaded fries that were holy crap. After smoking Jim's, excellent barbecue, we go to our hotel room, the Hampton Inn. So everything's booked around Bedford, the French Lick area where, where the Elephant Ranch is, the Wilston Elephant Ranch. Yes, if you get a chance to go, go there, do it. It's an amazing experience. They also have giraffes. Heather wants to go get, go see the giraffes too, cause we're gonna. She loves them giraffes, and that's what's gonna happen next time. We'll be, I'll be doing a video about that. Um, but yes, everything's booked. Everything's booked around this whole area. So we're like, what the hell? Let's go out a little bit further and a little bit further. So like an hour and a half away is this place. So we're driving and driving and driving and driving some more. When we get there, there is a prom night thing going on. It's like, it's prom, it's the middle of prom, right? There's a freaking valet letting cars on. There's a line of cars for this valet, okay? We gotta, we gotta maneuver around these cars to find a freaking parking spot in this hotel that we have booked already. And when we, we have to go around all the way to the back and she's she's hurt and I'm, I'm just tired from all the driving and petting the elephants and whatnot and we walk have to walk, walk around all the way to the front and when we do they're announcing people coming in so it's like here and here's Johnny and Janie from blah 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 and whatever the <laughs> and we're like ah! and so we go in and they're still announcing people they're like announcing the people behind us and I'm like fuck it I'm like yeah you're welcome sure I'm boom <laughs> as I'm walking in and I go I go and we go check in the lady behind the counter is like I'm so sorry I'm sorry this will all die down once all this stuff's over with this will all die down that's what she's telling us I'm like uh huh just give us the room we just want to get a room. We didn't say that, but because you know, I want to be polite. But we get the room. It's a nice room, and it was a nice, nice room. It's like one of the best hotel rooms I think I, we've ever had. It was the, I mean, it was just nice. It had this great big desk, the TV, the thing. Everything was nice. It was just nice. And it better be nice because for the next four hours, maybe, maybe three. We're hearing the hearing that from you know through the walls, and then it finally dies down, and we have a couple of drinks because you know you got to after all the driving and all that crap well, we just went through. I'm like, man, I want a drink. We get up the next morning, breakfast, 
And it seems like the place had been invaded by a bunch of old people, about elderly couples. Because it looked like it was old people everywhere. It was weird. It was you know, all these old people. It was so weird. Like all the high school kids turned into old people. It was like they were under a magic spell or something. They had one night to have prom again, and then it's gone the next day or something. I don't know. Either way, did that, then we toddle ourselves on home, and here we are. Or at least here I am. <laughs> telling him, talking to you about it. So, have you ever had some weird mishap at a at a? Oh, don't worry, let's try it again. Have you ever had a mishap at a ho hotel room? Have you ever gone through something like this? Was it been prom night when you've gone there, or some strange gathering of people? Let us know. Let me know in the comment below. Let me comments below. Talk to me in the comments. And as always. That volcano, there's a volcano right right there, right there, volcano. Hit that, hit that, subscribe, always get the hot lava, always get the hot lava. I put out hot lava every week, just like this, and sometimes even better. And I will see you later.